Pass back to the quarterback from Kendall Wright, who then threw over there, and the Baylor uh, staff now has rushed out on the field. They may have wanted a late hit. Was there a fumble? Did he catch the ball? Slide angle for Derry Stone, who made a 31-yarder earlier in the game. Here's the Slide. staff fake. The fake. So far, they haven't gotten it, and the Aggies are all over that, and a drop back at the 22-yard line. It's over to the right. One's a split in, and then his right is a flanker. Here's a throw. That's a catch, and broke a tackle. Watch a coup, broke another tackle, and he gets a first down. He's to the Aggie 36-yard line. Jacoub becomes the first guy to catch two passes today for AM. We're on the ground. No, it's a keeper by Johnson at the 45. They're closing on him. He goes down, and he is at the Aggie 49-yard line. Go with Christian Michael as the tailback, and, and he gave it to Christian. He got a yard to the 50. High formation and flags. That was going to be an end around coming back to this side. Stopped it. Prior to the snap, a full start, but for 65 of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty and still second down. A second down back at the uh, Aggie 44, and it's a screen. They thought they had that red for a moment. We're going to get the penalty back. It'll be third down and 10 coming up. 7.55 to go in the third. The Aggies lead 24 to 3. Johnson, we uh, we moved. Legal procedure AM. Going to go to nine penalties now at 106 yards. Prior to the snap, a false start by number 74 of the offense. It's a five yard penalty, and it's still third down. Third Eight. down, 16. The Aggies at their 43. They need the Baylor 41. Time to throw, plenty of coverage, and he will complete it. Uh, Fuller, and he got a first down at the 38-yard line. 18 yards, and Fuller now, that's his first catch of the day. Rolling right, Gerard going to throw it. That's going to be McCoy. He's going to get two, and uh, he's upended on that sideline right in front of the Baylor bench. Yards, a deep eye back, and it's an end around. That's Swachiku to the 40, to the 35, picking a hole here. Flag down out of the secondary. Across the 30 to the 27-yard line went Wachiku. They pick the flag up. They throw it back outside the 30-yard line. Well, we're going to see a replay. It's that same play they ran earlier on the end around for Wachiku. Number five of the offense. It's a 10-yard penalty and still second down. It is a second down play for Johnson. Halfback right. Three wides bunched up close to the right side. They'll throw the... And it's going to be Swope at the 40, broke a tackle. He's inside the 35. He's all the way to the 34-yard line. The line there at the 35-yard line. Gerard ran into a little trouble, now decided to run. Got a first down. He's across the 30. The Aggies convert. He goes to the 28-yard line. of scrimmage, we come on a first down. The Ags now have 16 of those, as does Baylor. Just up. Gerard Kep again after a fake, tripped up as he turns back to his left, trying to get away from one of the defenders and got it to the 22-yard line for a first down. On the ground, Kristen Michael got a block there as he's looking for the corner. They're not going to get there. He'll be dropped back at the 22-yard line. Back. Under center is Gerard. Steps back under pressure, dropping all the way back, running now from some folks. He's sacked back outside the 30 at the 34-yard line. At the 42, and it's a fake, There's and they're going to pooch kick it. And it's going to hit and roll, and the Aggies are going to kill it at the 12-yard line. And has got the ball at their 13. They just tried uh, Finley up the middle across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. That's Ganaway. Ganaway got that one. He'll stand at the 10 to take the snap line of scrimmage again. The Baylor 16. Time to throw. Rushed out of the pocket. Throwing sideline. He's got a guy way over his head. And somebody on the Baylor uh, Ag Aggie sideline just caught that ball. Back to the right. He had been a halfback. They, got a, they didn't get it off. Going to get caught for delay of game. That's exactly what happened. Aggie delay fans follow. Delay on the offense. It's a five-yard penalty and still third down. The scrimmage here, the 11. Will throw, and he is throwing deep. Boy, he had nobody there. And that thus dropped our punting. We punted twice today for 14. Outside pressure. Good kick. Pew telling everybody to get away from it. It's going to roll out of bounds at near midfield at about the 50. Took a hop and went due east of Gerard. And that man got it. Bounce it out, cut back. That'll be Cyrus. Uh, nothing. He went to the 50-yard line. The they gave a yard. They got, there's a throw out into the flats on the right side. That's Tannehill. Broke a tackle. Fights. Got a first down, I believe, at the 40-yard line. We're at 18. Throwing the ball, 84 yards. Gerard, he tried the right side. There's six, maybe seven yards, six yards. At about the 34 and a Second half. down play at the Baylor 35. Play action by Gerard. He fooled everybody on the defensive front. 
Now he spins away, he's still looking, he'll throw. And that is Fuller at the 30 yard line and he got it and he was coming back to the ball. And a first and 10 for your Aggies. That is number 18 today. Leading here is a screen to the right side and that's our 30, that's Gray. He's at the 20. He's across the 20s at the 17 yard line. The scrimmage, the Baylor 17, hash right, half back to the right of Johnson. Three wides on the left. One of those guys will get it. That swope at the 15, swope at the 10, swope at the 9, maybe the 8 yard line. Here's the quarterback, Gerard Johnson. Running back, got it. That is Cyrus Spins, got some guys with him. Inside the 5, they're still trying to wrestle him down. Yeah, they're trying to get the ball away from him. And he's out the 3 yard line. Tight ends, and Terrence McCoy out on the uh, as a fl flanker. Kenny Brown's a tight end on the left side. We try the middle, diving. Did he get in? Touchdown, and I believe that's Kristen Michael. It is touchdown, the Aggies. 14-31 to go, fourth quarter. I just made it 30-3, A&M over Baylor. Michael just diving right over the middle, and he stretched out the ball. I didn't like to see that. Straight handoff on the lead play, but he stretched it out, and he put it down across the goal line. Touchdown, Aggies. All right. Michael may have hurt his shoulder on that play. We'll have to watch him on the sideline. The extra point is up, and it is good. Three touchdown drives, eight plays each to this point. On oh, three of them I look at. Here's the kickoff, and it'll be Williams from the Baylor 10. Back to the 20. Somebody tried to get him around the ankles. They've closed on him from the backside, and he's across the 20-yard line out about the 25. Fever's in close to him as a halfback, and that guy got it. The Aggies chase it. Oh, nice pack behind the line. Kendall Wright. Mad Featherston reached out and got him by the ankles and brought him down. A great grip because he did just get him with one hand around the ankle. Here is a screen, and it completed it. It's out to about the 29-yard line. That's a pickup of about nine yards on a third down. Thrown was what happened there. We got a incomplete. He threw it low. Great Aggie Substitution tickets. Substitution infraction number 39. Of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty and still fourth down. Fourth Go. down. The line of scrimmage now. The 24-yard line. And they're going to stop the play again. Another flag down. Legal procedure, Baylor. I think so. Kick was a bad one. Of course, it may have been. He had the whistles blowing and all of that. Dead ball foul, an illegal snap on the center of the offense. It's a five yard penalty and it's still fourth down. So they're gonna to try to punt it again. He'll stand at the five to take the snap. Outside pressure containment. Backing up at the 39 is Pugh. Here comes his return. Uh, gets across the 40 to about the 43 yard line is Pugh. One of 11 on their thirds. The Aggies are five out of nine. a has got 20 first downs. We're gonna run it. And we tripped in the backfield and stretching out, trying to get an extra yard or two was Kristen Michael, Gerard Johnson. Snap directly to him. He stands at the 35. He throws, and that's I think going to be a catch, but they have hit him and knocked him out of bounds. He got a yard on that. That's Wachaku. Wachaku got a yard to the 44, and then they shoved into the Aggie bench. Eight to go, speaking of the clock, fourth quarter. The Aggies lead 31-3. to three. Shotgun again. Gerard drops back. He's got good protection. Now he sees some daylight. He's decided to run. He's got a first down. He goes down at the Baylor 40. It has a late flag. Right I don't know what that air. is. At the 45 and a half, Gerard Johnson just carried. And he got 10 right there. Uh, that'll force him up to 13 carries, 71 yards. Mentioned earlier. I think it's a late hit. I just saw the replay. 78 is best. After the play, unnecessary roughness by number 70 of yep. the offense. That's what it's I saw. 15-yard penalty, but it's first down. What a special honor that is. Going to throw here to the uh, right side, Tannehill. Look for a block. It wasn't there. He broke a tackle, 45. He got a first down <laughs> out of bounds at the 43. He is, and the, so you try to arm tackle him, and you can't do it. First down and 10. And uh, that will be Michael, that's no game. And down, still 10, the Baylor 43, 10-49 remaining in the game. The Aggies lead 31 to three. Empty in the backfield, quarterback draw to the 40, out of the, uh, the 40 yard line, they'll say his knee went down. Johnson carries to the Baylor 40. It's a shotgun formation. Wachaku is split out here to the right side. We got three to the left. I think one of those is Swope, it is. Here's a throw, Swope's the guy that caught it. He's at the 30, he's on the sideline, stops. Almost fell over backwards and goes down at the 24-yard line. <laughs> Got a good block. 
And it's a draw, and we'll give it to Kristen Michael again. He gets a yard, maybe the 22, perhaps the 21-yard line. Got two guys bunched up here close to the line. Going to be a sweep to the right, turn the corner. That's Stevens. He fights across the 20. He goes to the 19-yard line. Has it. Now Gerard wants to run. Stops. Now he's going to come back the other way, and they're closing on him. He will get the 15. He got a first down. He's <laughs> oh, crying. Man. Dives to the 11-yard line. He, he left Mike Hicks in the dust. He should have made the stop for a, a no-gainer, but uh, he picks up the first down. Bradley Stevens across the 10 to the 9-yard line on a first down and 10. Second down. Pick up three there and seven. They even did a nice job late. Gerard just decided to keep it. He's looking for the corner. He stops and uh, he, there's at the seven yard line. He goes down and then somebody piled on top of to the right. Three guys over there, three receivers. He's going to throw them. And he got out of one tackle. And now he's going to throw into the end zone and wide open. It's Tannehill. About two yards off the end line. And that was just the easiest little old toss. What a, What vision. <laughs> from Gerard Johnson. First of all, he showed great strength by breaking the tackle of the would-be sacker. Then he moves up the middle like he's gonna run with it, and right in mid-stride, he finds Ryan Tannehill in the back of the end zone wide open, able to just flip him the ball. Probably the easiest completion he's ever had as Ryan Tannehill comes wide open, and he just kind of lollipops it to him. And the extra point is on the board, and the Aggies now lead 38 to 3. Oh. All right, they've got Williams and Gordon back deep. And Williams will come up at the 15, maybe the 16 to the 20 to the 25, and he's up ended across the 30. A late flag again. Oh, we get Aggies lead 38 to 3. Baylor scored with about five minutes in to go in the first quarter. They've changed quarterbacks, and they throw. They'll get two yards to the 37. Picked up two. Pumps, throws, and he threw it uh, behind the defender and threw it behind the uh, would-be receiver. Has replaced uh, Florence here. We have under seven to go in the game. On their thirds today, one out of 11. We'll throw on this third, pumps once, and they will get a first down here. Caught at the 40, now at the 45, and into the sideline at the Aggie 41-yard line. There's a few carries, uh, matter of fact, 45, and they gave him the ball. And oh, a nice hole, he's at the 30, he's at the 20, cuts back at the 15, he's on the sideline, and out of bounds inside the 10. Trail 38-3, to three. it's a pitch, Salubi turning the corner, the Aggies are all over him, one, two, three, four, Ags make the tackle back at the nine yard line. Right side, motion going uh, right to left. Zemanski wants to throw, he's gonna be sacked back outside the 20, and all the way back at the 20, where are they gonna spot him? Well, they say at the 21 yard lines, we're, here's third down, goal at the 21, a throw. Did he catch that thing? He did. He's going to make a catch at the seven yard line. Yeah, moves Zemanski under center. He has motion going uh, right to left. Wants to throw. He does. It's incomplete off the hands of the intended receiver. Yes, it is. All right. They will hand off and a good hole across the five and out to about the eight yard line. Averaging seven yards per snap. That ain't bad. Tailback gets it. That's going to be Stevens again. He's going to push across. There's a flag down as he goes out to about the 12-yard line. This is going to be the 13th penalty against one or the other. Holding number 75 of the offense. Penalties half the distance to the goal and replay second down. Baylor is the fullback. Stevens gets it. Stevens hits the left side, across the five to the six-yard line. Not a bad day there. Stevens got it. And he, uh, he's gonna, he's got it. He got it. He got the first down <laughs> out to the 15. I really didn't think that was gonna happen, but he did. And that's Danny Baker snapping the ball. Goes to uh, Stevens again. He's across the 20. He's out to the 23. He got eight yards on that carry. Into their yeah. prevent offense. They'll run the clock out. And uh, Tannehill will snap, get the snap. He'll take the knee, and we're gonna let the last few seconds run off here. And that's the ball game, and your Aggies get the win.
about ready to give me a heart attack, I think. Uh, one week is one thing, one week is something else. Uh, um, but uh, I was proud of them today. I thought they did a good job of re responding to the challenge they had uh, in front of them. The, the, they knew what the implications of this game was. We, we wanted to be able to win this football game at home and put ourselves in a good position uh, to be able to play Texas on Thursday. And uh, we look forward to that ball game now. Questions? Down here front, Randy, let's get the mic. Thank you. Coach, just a relief to finally get the bowl eligibility thing out of the way. Well, yeah, you know, this game reminds me a lot of uh, how our team responded uh, uh, after the K-State game. And obviously, we had played Oklahoma last week and played very poorly, as we did against K-State. And, uh, you know, they're just the cardiac kids. I mean, one week is one thing, one week is something else. And uh, uh, But i got to give them credit. You know, when the back's against the wall, as it was going to Lubbock and as it was today, uh, they've responded. I'm not very pleased with the penalties. We have way, way too many penalties, stupid penalties, uh, undisciplined penalties. And uh, that, that is really frustrating to me because we spent a lot of time talking about those things. Um, but other than that, I thought they responded to the challenge that they had today, and uh, uh, I'm proud of them for that. Rich, here in the middle. Coach, uh, back to the ball game a little bit. Did you feel like the senior? I mean, it seemed like today the seniors were especially dominant in, in what they did in, in getting you to that bowl game with with uh, Jordan Pugh and then some of the offensive linemen. No question. Uh, you know, our seniors and, and I, I had talked to to our team about. Uh, you know, these these seniors uh, have had to deal with uh, a couple of head coaches and uh, uh, had to deal with some adversity. Uh, at different times, and uh, you know, we, we owe these guys a lot, and they've kind of kept things together for us this year. And uh, I wanted them to go out winners, and uh, uh, and so this game was important for that, and uh, they contributed tremendously. Uh, before the game, I just, you know, I thought maybe the guys were going to make more out of it than they, and, and, and maybe not respond the way I want them to. And so I, I just asked them, I said, just be 100% of who you are today. You don't have to be somebody else. Uh, just be yourself, but all of yourself. And I thought uh, Jordan Pugh and our offensive line and different guys uh, gave us everything they had uh, at different times when we needed it. But uh, I think the turnovers were, were big for us, obviously, uh, to be able to create uh, momentum for, our, for our, to get the ball back for our offense.
like you to go before you on the playing field. It's the fault of the Spirit of Aggie. The 2009 